ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ Hello guys welcome back to another video as per lot of request from you guys we are coming up with this head shifter tutorial and my request is before watching this video you should come across our previous videos now the first one is the steering wheel and pedals using arduino board the second one is a sequential shifter using arduino and finally this one so we have provided all the links in the description box so check out those videos or else you can directly visit our channel page go to playlists and you can able to see a separate playlist on this uno joy related projects coming to the tutorial of this video first we'll start with the software part we have to convert the arduino board into the joystick by uploading the joystick firmware for that you need to follow some steps so make sure you watch this video completely first download and install jre flip installer the link is given in the description box so here is a downloaded file just double click to install Now download this Unojoy Win RAR file and after downloading you have to extract this zipper file and when you open this folder you, you should be able to get 15 items Now open this Unojoy Arduino sample in that Unojoy Arduino sample code Now connect your Arduino board and select the COM port and upload this particular code. In the Arduino board, short these two pins. And now in the Uno Joy folder double click on turn into a joystick batch file here you have to get a pass message as i have shown here after that you will get a sound then unplug and replug your arduino board at this point the arduino board will be having the joystick firmware so it acts as a joystick which means the arduino board is converted into a joystick So for checking that go to control panel select view by large icons and here go to device and printers so you can able to see the uno joy joystick symbol here again to turn this back into arduino board i have shown the procedure at the end so till here we have done with all the software part now we have to move on to the hardware and connections first i'll show you how the connection should be and how it works for that right click on this game controller settings properties and from this window we can see the working of all the pins So for the connections i'm connecting one wire to the ground pin and if i short the ground to the digital pin 0 you can see the z axis moving so this pin will be using for the clutch and make sure guys you use the same pin as we are showing here and digital pin 1 don't use for anything moving on to the second pin digital pin 2 that will be the first gear So if I connect ground to the digital pin 2 you can see the indication here. And similarly the 
Spotify and so on. In coming to the design part, it took me a lot of days to make this. So I am showing you just in a brief way. I have taken the flat wooden sheet first to make the hedge grooves. The next thing I am using a waste speaker and a spring which we have done the same thing for the sequential shifter. I am mounting this on a very strong metallic base so that it won't shake. Next we need another wooden piece with single groove. We need two drawing clips which you can easily get in any stationeries have to paste both the clips at the opposite ends At both the sides I have attached the movable supports so that it moves in this way and this clip helps in locking the gear positions like this. So finally we can mount this at the top. So the mechanism is complete now. So this is how it works. So 
as i told the connections previously we are following the same thing but at the end points we are using the food wrap aluminum foil so at each and every point i have connected the aluminum foil which goes directly to the digital pins and for this lever we have connected the ground pin so when it get in contact indirectly the gear will be activated and all these wires have extended and i'll connect it to the arduino board and for the circuit you can refer to the link given in the description box this console mainly work good in the euro truck simulator game so i'll be showing you the settings what you have to do it there so this will be our first arduino board which is for the steering wheel first i'll connect this one and the second bolt is placed inside this box this one will be using for the shifter and also for the pedals and also plug this one now if you open the control panel devices and printers you can able to see the two uno joy joystick for making all the necessary settings open the game go to options controls and here select keyboard plus uno joy joystick so this will be the first arduino board and here in the second option select last uno joy joystick and here will be the wheel and transmission type will be the head shifter and you can adjust the steering sensitivity and linearity here for setting the steering axis just click on this and start moving the steering wheel now we have to unassign the brake and acceleration axis so click on unassign and acceleration axis will be unassigned and similarly for the brake now we have to assign the clutch so click on this and if you press the clutch it will get assigned similarly scroll down and now we have to make settings for the gears make this shifter layout as splitter now for first we have the reverse gear just click on this and put it to the reverse gear so it is set and similarly do the same steps for all remaining gears now for assigning the brake and accelerator go to keys and buttons here set one button for throttle and any other button for brake finally all steps are completed now i'll show you how it works so this is the clutch brake and accelerator first we have to press and hold the clutch then put it to the gear then release the clutch so it is in the first gear so similarly the reverse gear turn your arduino back into normal first short these two pins again 
and double click on turn into Arduino batch file. In the similar way you have to get the past message. Then unplug and replug your Arduino board. So that's it. I hope you guys came to know about all the steps. If you have any doubts, you can ask us in the comment box below for more videos you can subscribe to our channel and also follow us on instagram thank you for watching and i'll see you again in the next video